What's good, everybody? So Diddy is suing Diageo's Wines and Spirits Company. Now, I know some of y'all are wondering, what is Diageo? Diageo is a global wines and spirits company that handles the marketing, promotion, and distribution for Diddy's uh, liquor brands, which is Ciroc and his De Leon tequila brand. Well, Mr. Combs is not too happy about how they've been handling his uh, businesses and his brands. So now he's taking it to court. Now, I'm going to give y'all some of the information of what the lawsuit is stating. And I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts. So according to CNBC, it says, Sean Diddy Combs is suing multinational spirits giant Diageo for alleged racial discrimination in the handling of his vodka and tequila brands, which Combs claims the company typecast as black brands. In a lawsuit filed Wednesday with the New York Supreme Court, Combs lawyers accused Diageo of neglecting his Ciroc, Vodka, and De Leon tequila brands and of marginalizing their appeal by marketing them as urban brands. Diddy also claimed that Diageo sabotaged his De Leon tequila brand with shouty packaging that made the product look cheap while showing other celebrity brands such as actor George Clooney's Casamito tequila more attention and resources. Diageo acquired Colonies Casamigos in 2017 for $1 billion. It's the top-selling U.S. tequila brand representing 12.6% of tequila sales in the U.S. retail stores. Calms Wines and Spirits entered into an equal partnership with Diageo back in 2007 for the marketing promotion of Ciroc. Following the success of the partnership, Diageo co-purchased the De Leon tequila brand with Calms back in 2013. According to court documents in 2022, Don Julio was distributed in 36% of retail outlets compared with 34.4% for Casamigos and just 3.3% for Combs de Leon. Combs claims that his brands have been starved out of production, distribution, and sales resources. And also that Diageo executive Stephen Russ told Combs in 2019, race was among the reasons why the company had limited its distribution of De Leon and Ciroc. If Combs Wines and Spirits were owned by Martha Stewart, his brands would have been distributed more broadly, Russ allegedly said, according to the lawsuit. Now, that's what Combs and his lawyers are saying what Diageo did. According to Diageo, of course, they're going to say something different. Diageo's uh, response is, our steady, fast commitment to diversity with our company and the communities we serve is something we take very seriously. We categorize, we categorically deny the allegations that have been made and will vigorously defend ourselves in the appropriate form. The company said it has been it has had a productive and mutual beneficial relationship with comms for 15 years making significant investments that have resulted in financial success for all involved. We are disappointed our efforts to resolve this business dispute ambiguously have been ignored and that Mr. Combs has chosen to damage a productive and value partnership. While we respect Mr. Combs as an artist and entrepreneur, his allegations lack merit and we are confident that the facts will show that he has been treated fairly. So, reading both sides here, this is what I see what's going on. When Combs, when Diddy, sorry, first started out with Diageo and started promoting Ciroc, let's just be honest. The promotion for Ciroc was crazy. You saw it on TV, you saw it on the internet, everywhere. Ciroc was out there. It spread it like wildfire. 
from your mother, brother, sister, cousin, everybody was buying Ciroc. Even if you wasn't black, other races of people was buying Ciroc. You know, now I give Diddy credit. Diddy can market the hell out of a product that he can do. And Ciroc was out there for a long time. The marketing was crazy. Everybody was talking about it. So now Diddy is saying that, hey, you know, what's up? Y'all not giving me that same push, that same support as y'all did before. Because now I look and see that Casamigos and all these other brands, y'all pumping money into giving them more distribution into more retail outlets, y'all marketing them. You even making the packages look good, but when it comes to my shit, you're not really doing too much like you used to, and you making the package and the presentation look cheap. Now, Diageo is saying, no, Diddy, that's not true. We have invested money into your brand. We have done all these things, but the market just isn't interested in buying your products like they used to. We've done everything we can to push your products, Diddy, but people are just not interested in it anymore. People are more interested in these brands than this brand, according to the numbers. So we know that Diageo is going to say these things. Now, I'm not saying that it's true. I'm not saying that it's true because I want people thinking like, oh, you said this? No. I'm not saying that's what Diageo is saying. I'm just reading from what I see that's said in the article. Because they're saying that, hey, they made significant investments and that in these investments, it was financial success for everybody. And that they're saying that when it all comes out, that they're going to show that Diddy has been treated fairly. So I'm interested to see how this is going to play out. Because he's pretty much saying on one end, like, okay, it's racism and saying that this guy from the company told him that, you know, hey, race does play a, prob a, a part in this because if you was white, then we will be giving you more promotion and more support. But unfortunately, you not, so... We're not doing that. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, too. Because when I read that part, I was like, man. So basically, they told him if he's not white, since he's not white, they're not giving him that push. And you read that, and then you think about it like, okay, wait a minute. Because, like I said, when The Rock first came out, the marketing and the promotion push for it was so crazy. You know, and they were selling, selling cases of it like crazy. Everybody, like I said, everybody, their mama was buying it. So now they're not giving him that push anymore. Now, it could be because of certain reasons. It could also be that, hey, maybe people are not buying Diddy's products like they used to. That could be the case. We don't know. And Diageo is probably looking on their end, probably saying, hey, we pumped a lot of money into this guy. And he's been treated fairly, but we just, the, the numbers just ain't there. So it's, it looked like that this is going to be a very nasty court battle. And this is something that's not going to be handled overnight. This is probably going to drag out in court for a while. But I'm definitely curious to see how this is going to pan out. Because we know that when Diddy says that, hey, he's not being treated fairly and somebody's doing him wrong, he's going to go all in. Now, is this true or not? We don't know. But according to his side, with his lawyers, they're saying this is what's happening. And we just have to wait to see what the outcome is going to be. But I'm very curious to see how this is going to plan, how this is going to turn out and what's going to be the outcome. Is Diddy going to stay with Diageo or is he going to leave and go elsewhere?
when this is all said and done. Because when it comes to lawsuits, the thing about lawsuits is that lawsuits are very nasty. And a lot of times when it comes to suing companies, when that lawsuit is over with, they just say, hey, you know what? Let's just go separate ways. You know, we'll pay out whatever this contract will sell the business end of it. And then you go your way. We go our way. That's it. So that's going to be the interesting uh, part that people want to see. Where's this lawsuit going to go and how is it going to uh, what's going to be in result? How is it going to pan out? So I would definitely keep you guys updated on this and let you know what's going on. But you all tell me how you feel about this. Diddy is suing Diageo claiming racial discrimination and handling his products with shitty care. So I want to hear from you guys. You guys tell me how you feel about this. Uh, do you feel that Diddy is right for what he's doing? Do you feel that he's wrong in what he's doing? Do you feel what Diageo's saying is true? Or do you feel like they lying? I want to hear from you all. Let me know. And until then, stay tuned.